Okay, so what do you peeps want? What videos are the most popular? What the fu- Hey there guys, Claude the Arkansas King here again with my first book review in... Uh, uh, yeah. It's been a while. Anyway, it seems as if people really like my first book review. So, it's time for another one to please the algorithm. And or get a few hundred views on a video. God, it's been so long since I even got a hundred views on a video. As Arkansas Galore points out, the way your cringy stuff gets way more views than your content that takes actual effort. You are so right. Oh my gosh. I spent maybe 20 minutes on my first book review, and most of that was recording it. And the thing has almost 700 views. But my animation, Falco, that I spent over a day on, I put more effort into it than any other video, or pretty much any other thing in my life. And it doesn't even have 50 views yet. It's a little weird. Anyway, enough rambling. Today I will be doing a review of Pterosaurs by paleontologist and paleoartist Mark Witten. So you may remember me getting this book back in like... Oh jeez, it's been a year exactly. Oh well, last March I got this amazing book by Mark Witten called Pterosaurs. And finally, a year later, I'm reviewing it. So starting off with the cover, you can see an amazing piece featuring a Nyctosaurus, truly majestic. On the back, it's a continuation of the background from the front, but with a male Pteranodon Sternbergi, surrounded by his harem of females. And by the way, all of the illustrations in this book were done by Mark Witten, and he did an amazing job on all of them. He's definitely one of my favorite paleo artists. On the inside cover, you can see some more beautiful drawings of pterosaurs, and the table of contents. And you can see that within the first nine chapters, the book goes into depth about pterosaurs, stuff like anatomy, their evolution, how they lived, stuff like that. The next 16 chapters are on all of the different groups of pterosaurs, my favorite being the Asdarkids. Editor, please show them a picture of an Asdarkid. Thank you, editor. This guy's a real loser, I swear. You know I'm still yeah, and? I know I'm a loser. Okay. Anyway, the last chapter is about the end of the pterosaurs, their reign ending with the KPG mass extinction. A very sad event. One that will be portrayed in Planet Prehistoric whenever it comes out. Don't worry guys, it may be quite a while, but it will come out. I promise. Anyway, let's look at a few pages of the book. Oh, would you shut up? I'm scripting this before I record the video. You know this, you tard. Okay. So yeah, this has to be one of the best books I have ever owned, and I highly recommend it to anyone who has any interest in pterosaurs, or archosaurs in general. It's a good read, trust me. This book's only like 20 bucks on Amazon, so it's not too big of a purchase, and it's totally worth it. Now. Let's see how this video does. If this video gets a lot of views like my other book review, then I'll make more. I already have a few ideas in mind for future reviews, but if it doesn't get a lot of views, I may make more of them, and if I do, there won't be too many, and they'll be few and far between, but we'll see. Anyway, this has been Claude the Archosaur King, and this is me saying goodbye.
so short, though. That's what she said. Now shut up. Hey guys, Editor Cloud here from way early in the morning, which is probably why my voice doesn't sound the same. Um, but I'm just here to tell you that at the end of the video, there is a little treat, a, um, what, what would you call it, a little sneak peek of the next video. So, yeah, just wait a few more seconds and you'll see that. Okay. <laughs>